Well, let's take a look at some of the other news now. And in Egypt, Muslim Brotherhood supporters are remaining steadfast in their demands for Mohamed Morsi to be reinstated. And they're taking to the streets to make their voices heard. But the interim prime minister is still trying to bring them into the caretaker government. Arise News' is Will Took has the latest. Another night of chanting slogans and rallying in the streets. Morsi loyalists are continuing their demonstrations across Egypt. After a widespread crackdown on the Muslim Brotherhood leadership and its supporters, for many, the army's behaviour is reminiscent of Hosni Mubarak's 30-year reign. We protest today to demand the fall of military rule that's trying to come back and bring back its stooges again. Remnants of the former regime seem to have a strong and vicious campaign in the works. Here in Cairo, protesters tried to march on the presidential palace. Their progress was halted by the army, but the standoff passed peacefully, even though the demonstrators stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the military. We do not acknowledge the military coup against our will. The protests might not be stopping, but two days into Ramadan, they seem to have mellowed after the violence at the start of the week. The month of fasting is being used as a meditative time for those calling for mercy to be reinstated. Today we are receiving Ramadan here in Rabat al Adwaya Square to show support and backing from us to Morsi, as well as supporting legitimacy, the legitimacy that God told us to follow. Interim Prime Minister Hazem al Beblawi is hoping Ramadan could create a climate of reconciliation. Despite being rebuffed by the Muslim Brotherhood, he's renewed his offer to include it in the technocrat government he's trying to form. Will took Arise News.